What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Pace Studios here in Midtown Manhattan, New York City. Uh, we are really, really happy to be joined right now by Angelo D'Augustine. Uh, dude, thanks so much for coming and, and playing some songs for us here at Pace today. No problem. Thanks for having me. Uh, so you've got a new record. Uh, it just came out in August. It's called Swim Inside the Moon. Uh, it's your second album. And you're going to play three songs, I think, all from all from the new one today, yeah? Mm-hmm. Yep. Cool. So uh, let me know what the first one is you're going to do for us. Uh, the first one's called Crazy, Stoned, and Gone. Everybody knows time's running Even you stopped fading away Just for a day People hoping that for the dead I'll say that you're wrong Crazy stone Thank you very much. Thank you. So uh, I wanted to ask you a little bit about this record. Uh, it's your second full length, and I was reading about it, and uh, I was reading that you recorded it mostly or entirely uh, in your bathroom in California. <laughs> yeah, I did. And that sounds at first like uh, an unusual thing. I mean, I'm sure it is unusual, but in terms of sound, it actually struck me as maybe a very logical thing. There's probably some good you know, resonance in a bathroom. Mm -hmm. uh, some good vibes in the bathroom. I mean, how did you come to do it that way? Um, I sort of didn't have a lot of options at the time. I just had like a real to real tape recorder and just like a one microphone. And I, I didn't have like effects or anything. So um, I was sort of trying to find a space that would give me what I, what I was sort of hearing in my head for how I wanted the songs to be represented. And I kind of happened upon the, the bathtub just because I didn't have a, a, a big space. And I just, I was trying different rooms in my house, and that was the room that kind of gave me, gave me what I was looking for for the songs. It seems like that would be the of, all the, of all the rooms in like a small house, the bathroom would probably be the best one to record music in. I would Maybe, think. yeah. Just because of like the the resonance of the of the walls, the echo you get. I mean, were there, were there yeah. particular like was there were there were there things that were good about a bathroom more than it just being like the most functional place to do it? Um, 
I mean, there was... The good thing about it was that I was sort of looking for this sound that was like... I was trying to find a voice behind my voice, sort of something to accompany my voice. And the way I put the microphone in the bathroom along the tub, I sort of pointed it away from me so that it would pick up the reverberations of my voice and the guitar around instead of just my voice. Yeah, yeah that's cool. And so the whole thing... I mean, obviously, I guess it's it's recorded live. Are these all single takes on the record? Yeah, yeah. I don't have, like, I'm not good at computers and things, so I just had the tape machine, and I just press record, and I'd run into the bathroom, and I'd just play the song just like this, or, but in but but in there, and then um, that was basically it. There, I, I didn't have a lot of options to be able to edit and things like that. I didn't know how either, so. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. And uh, just in terms of like anything added after the fact, in terms of uh, any other sounds, overdubs? Yeah. Or right. I had a few things. I had, my mom had an old piano that I used on some of the songs. And then I had one electric guitar. And then I also had like this little weird synthesizer that I used on one song. But mostly it was just the guitar and vocal for, for the majority of the album. Cool. Um, so tell me a little bit about the next song you're going to do from the record. Um, this song is called Fade, and uh, I think it's later in the track listing.
Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, just to talk about the record just a little more, um, this is a, this is obviously a, it's a solo record in the most literal sense. Um, so I wonder, you know, I, I sort of think about uh, something like Bon Iver and his cabin in the woods in Wisconsin, you know, alone with his thoughts. Do you do you find that recording by yourself elicits different kind of you know emotions or ideas? Than you might get if you're like in a room full of people and everyone is like pressing buttons and yeah. you got a band and everything. I do, yeah. Um, I sort of had to figure that out the hard way. I tried doing that before and it didn't really work for me so much. And then I was able to figure out that I liked I liked just being the only one there um, for recording my songs. So I, I think it does. It probably does bring about something interesting. Did you feel like the the lyrics and the sort of concepts behind the songs are in part a product of being on your own, not having anyone else listening or weighing in with opinions or anything? I don't know about I don't know about the I mean I was ne- I've never been very concerned with other people's opinions, but um, I don't know about the 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 writing is so different than the recording. Um, it's hard to like feel comfortable in a recording studio sometimes, so. Um, when you when you have everything and it's like your house, it sort of feels like you're just at home and you can just get to that place that you need to be to convey the song in a, in a in a way that that makes sense or is vulnerable. Yeah, um, and in terms of like the writing of it, I mean, are, does it take you a while to write everything down and then you go into the room and and lay it down, or are you kind of you know is some of it coming together in the moment? Um. Well, for this record, it all came like within like a month or two, which is kind of rare. I had been through uh, a period of like six to eight months where I had lost my voice, so I couldn't sing for a while. So maybe that had something to do with why the songs came so quickly. It's possible. Yeah. Um, you obviously use your falsetto a lot. Was that that must have been kind of harrowing? Uh, yeah, yeah. You can't really with no with no yeah. voice. How you get into that register? Yeah, it's hard. You. I just didn't have a voice, so... Did it change anything about how you constructed these songs, or, you know... No, I was just thinking... Well, maybe. I was thinking about them in my, in my head a lot, because I couldn't actually play or sing sing it, really. So may, maybe that had something to do with it, just the fact that I was mulling over these songs in my head for, for like, six months or so. Yeah, cool. And the lyrics are, like, something that are... You know, you come up with long in advance... Or are they um, also sort of an organic thing that can change as you yeah. do takes and stuff? Yeah, songs are weird. Writing songs is really weird because it's like, it's like I, I mean, I always say when people ask me that writing songs is like going to sleep at night and having a dream, and then you wake up and you sort of remember the dream, but you're not really sure how you, how you, you're not really sure about the whole dream. It sort of it eludes you after a while. And that's sort of like with songs, like you sort of know when you're writing it, where it's going but then when you're done with it you're kind of like how did i get this thing <laughs> um cool so uh you guys you're gonna do one more uh mm-hmm. from swim inside the moon tell yeah. me about what that one's gonna be yeah this one's called haze
Thank you. So, uh, everybody, that was three songs from Angelo D. Augustine's new record. It's called Swim Inside the Moon. Uh, that record came out August 25th, I believe. And uh, you've got a tour coming up. Um, going to Europe, I think. Is that right? Yeah, I'm going to Europe in a week. And then I'll be there for about three weeks. And then I come back and I do some touring in the States on the west coast up to Canada with a band called the Bar Brothers. Yeah, yeah, the Bar Brothers are great. We just had them in the studio recently. Cool. Um, so everyone can find those dates at angelodaugustine.com. Uh, the new record is called Swim Inside the Moon. It's a beautiful album. And uh, rare for us here at Paste, the way that you played it now is pretty much the way that it sounds on the record. Uh, so that is a, that's a, that's a good thing. Um, so thank you so much for coming and, and playing these songs for us here at the studio. Thank you. And please come back and uh, play some more anytime you want. Thank you. I'd love to. <laughs> 